I'm out here by my swamp and we're going to try to go ahead and take a look at what we can find in one scoop of pond water. We're going to see what's in there. So next time you go swimming, think about what you're swimming in, not to scare you. It, most everything in this pond is completely harmless. So I'm going to take one bucket full, scoop it up, and then we're going to go check it out and see what we can find. What we have here is the swamp, or pond as we like to call it. And what I've done, I'm showing you all the little frogs, and I don't know if you can see them, but you can definitely hear them. So I'm gonna quit talking and I'm going to let you listen and hear the sounds of nature. Here it is. This is about as close as Mrs. Hoover is going to get to a snake. I don't know if you saw it or not, but there it went. So here's my pond water. I'm going to go ahead and get down in this mucky, yucky stuff with a scoop bucket. And that's all I got. One bucket of stuff. So I took my scoop of water and I started picking up little critters. I know you can't be here with me now. So I took a picture and here we have a damselfly. I'm going to let you look to see what a damselfly is going to grow up to look like. But this is the larva for the damselfly. And here we have a little snail that we found. My son Cory found a baby painted turtle. Super cute. Did you know that the painted turtle is our state reptile? This is a tiny little plant that floats on our swamp surface. It's called duckweed. Here we have a giant tadpole and pretty soon he's going to start developing, or she, her back legs and then front legs, and then it's going to lose its tail and it will turn into a frog. I found a spider floating around on the pond water that I collected in the bucket. And you wouldn't think of a spider being in a pond, but if it's really not that uncommon, especially with all the insects that we have in our pond water. It's a great meal for him. And here's a different species of a spider. And here is what I think is a mayfly larva. They're kind of annoying in the springtime, but they start off in ponds and swamps as tiny little larva, and then they metamorphosize into the mayflies that you see in, well, May. As you can see, there are a ton of insects and creepy crawlies that live in my swamp slash pond. Nothing to be afraid of, but definitely interesting in a whole huge ecosystem that sometimes we don't even think about because we can't really see them very well with our own eye. Most of these pictures today I took with a magnifying glass in front of my camera just so that I could get you a picture to look at. So just think about all the pond life that you can't even see every time you go out there. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you soon. Bye bye now.